everyone. Uh, I'm Jean-Baptiste Thiebaud, I'm the director of ADC. Uh, welcome to ADC 2019. Uh, it's been a uh, difficult two weeks. Uh, most of you know that we had to change a venue at the last minute. Um, so that was, that was a fun, a fun, uh, fun times. Um, and we couldn't have done it without uh, Sophie and Joshua. Uh, so if you join me to give them a big hand. They, uh, they have worked around the clock to, to make this happen. Uh, we've also been supported uh, by the venue here who helped us at the last minute. And also our sponsors, uh, Apple, Android, uh, Rolly, Elk, have, have also pitched in extra to help. So big, big thanks to them. Please join me again. And so while I was uh, working on, on finding this new venue, I didn't have time to prepare this presentation. So uh, I got help from my daughter, and um, <laughs> and so she made she made some drawings to illustrate this this journey. So this is what the past uh, two weeks have been like. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank again all of our sponsors. We have uh, many of them this year, seventeen. Uh, some of them have booths in the exhibition uh, area, which is upstairs next to where the lunch happens. Uh, please engage with them. Uh, some special thanks to Ochoya for the very generous prizes they gave yesterday at the quiz, which uh, made uh, five people very happy. Um, so, and thank you, of course, to all of the sponsors for, for their help. We have different events that each of them uh, participate to. Um, so, yeah, this is a fifth ADC. We started as the Juice Summit in 2015, and it grew every year about 20 to 30 percent. Uh, and this is the biggest to date. Um, so we yeah, are very excited. And uh, I did some research um, and found out that there are seven people who have attended every single event. <laughs> so congratulations to them. You actually have won a t-shirt. So please come and see us. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, and so well, I. I'm very uh, grateful, we are very grateful for your loyalty and I hope you will continue to come uh, in the years to come and that more people will join this wagon of like five timers next year. There's over 30 people who have been here four times. So I couldn't name all of them, but thank you for, for your loyalty. Um, so we have a big community online. We probably <coughs> have our live streaming right now. So hello to our community online and thanks to their support on, on Patreon. Uh, we've been able to raise uh, enough money to fund the live streaming. Here, plugging another picture for my daughter. Um, and uh, we will be live streaming. We are live streaming now. It's uh, on Patreon, so when you don't have to. But the good news for you, uh, because you can't see everything, ADC has, but most of the time, four tracks in parallel. So uh, you can't see everything here. But you'll be able to watch it when we release all the videos next week uh, on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, here on the right we have all the people who've gave generously over $200 to ena enable this, and on the left all the people who gave uh, $50 to enable the live streaming, and there's more coming now. So, uh, yeah, please join me in, in thanking them. It's a great feat. I mean, I won't bore you with the details, but uh, changing venue and, and having a supplier that, that's gone bankrupt meant to us that we did not, uh, we, lose, we lost all the money we paid for the venue. So this year we had to, uh, to scrap uh, the budget here and there, make sure that we were able to deliver the best experience to you, but uh, at the minimal cost. So we did uh, ask uh, the community for, for support, um, and, and that, that worked out very well. So I'm very pleased to be in this situation. Um, so a word about the ADC program. It's been the same uh, system for the past five years, but if, if you don't know, we have uh, a chair, Rebecca Febring. She's not here today. She's on maternity leave. Uh, but she's been chairing the, um, the reviewing of all the proposals. So the way it works, it's like uh, in academia where you have uh, peer-reviewed um, uh, proposals. So we received this year over 100 of them, which is a record. Um, hopefully that means that this is the best program we can, we can bring you. All of these proposals are reviewed by these 42 uh, people who are 
experts, and that guarantees a fair and balanced program, uh, and uh, on which we don't have a lot of input ourselves. It's uh, really managed by the community, and that's about 75% of, of the program. Um, each of them give uh, a note to each proposal on relevance, uh, quality, and, uh, and expertise. And with all that ranking, we have um, a list of uh, ordered uh, talks that uh, are the talks that you are going to see. This year, we're also introducing demos. So at lunchtime, you, we will have, uh, in, in the um, exhibition area, we have some people who will show you um, a demo. So typically, it's a, a person at the, at the table with a laptop showing you a software or showing you a research they're working on or, or a product. Uh, and it's, it's a bit different than the talks. It's more interactive. So please uh, come and check them out near uh, where the sponsors are. So um, I would like to uh, invite you to join me in, in thanking all the program uh, committee to make this program happen. Um, we have this year four keynote speakers. So uh, right after me, we have Julian Storer. Uh, Julian Storer is the, the founder of Juice, and uh, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. He released Juice as an open source framework in 2002 and uh, open source often goes along with, with the community and that's where it started. Um, ADC, or the Juice Summit started when, when uh, Julian and, and Juice joined Volley and then ADC sort of capitalized on that existing community. So it's thanks to him that we're here. He's going to talk about uh, how to reconcile uh, your prehistorical brain, your cave brain with the uh, the habits or the practice of coding. Um, so he's going to come in in a few minutes to talk about this. Uh, our keynote speaker tonight is Imogen Heap. Imogen Heap is, is an artist uh, and uh, entrepreneur. Uh, she's uh, very successful on many fronts. She recently scored the uh, Harry Potter uh, musical, um, The Cursed Child. She's also active as an entrepreneur doing um, um, blockchain for authoring music, but what she's going to talk to you about tonight is the, the vision that inspired her to create uh, new instruments to make music. She was, she was frustrated that the vision she had in her head to make music was not um, facilitated by software or hardware, so she created uh, gloves, but also the entire tool chain from the gloves to the firmware to the software that would uh, enable her to make the music she wants. So not only she's going to give a keynote explaining that journey, but also perform tonight uh, in this room. We've sli uh, shifted slightly the schedule tonight so that uh, the performance will happen immediately after the keynote and we, uh, we're going to start at 4.45, the keynote here instead of 5. So please make sure you, you're here. And we have to leave the premise tonight here at 6.15. Um, so a quick video about uh, what Imogen's gloves are about. The pink, these beautiful gloves help me gesturally interact with my computer so that I can make music on the move, in the flow, and uh, more humanly, more naturally, engage with my computer software and technology. Um, so here they are. This is the latest one. This is an earlier one. And these are many other iterations. <laughs> so I'm moving around the scale by going up and down, down there, it goes down a fifth, um, or down a fourth. Um, and then I can change the filter like that and I can go between different sounds by going up and down using the pitch. This is what we call pitch, this is what we call yaw, this is what we call roll. And here, filtering the sound and kind of pitch bending it. And then stopping the arpeggiator and starting it again. So this is going to be tonight. Um, our next keynote speaker tomorrow morning is Francois Paché. Uh, Francois Paché is now a director at Spotify where he develops uh, new tools for uh, creating music. And he was, prior to that, he was at um, Sony Computer Science Lab in Paris. Uh, and in the mid-2000s, he was working on uh, a program called The Continuator, 
which uh, taking live input from a, a musician, let's say a, a pianist, you play some jazz tune and the program plays you something back in the same style. And uh, more recently, uh, still at Sony, he led a, a research team to produce a song called Daddy's Car, which took 45 um, songs from the Beatles to create a song that sounded like it. Uh, and that song was then, um, lyrics were wrote, written for it, and it was uh, then performed and, and produced as, as a proper song. So I'm going to give you an excerpt of this. So having, having done this, uh, François Pache joining Spotify to lead tools for music creation is interesting, isn't it? Uh, when you have an entire catalog of, of uh, the world's music and, uh, at your disposal and you can create new music using tools or facilitate the creation of new music tools. Um, uh, so very much looking forward to François' talk tomorrow and where I understand he's going to uh, take us to a journey of like, what machine learning can support in terms of, of music creation. Uh, our last keynote speaker uh, is Gerhard Berlius. He's going to uh, join us for the last keynote tomorrow night. Uh, Gerhard is the CEO and founder of Ableton. Uh, Ableton celebrates this year the 20th anniversary. It started in 1999, and in this 20 years, they become, um, live has become uh, the de facto standard for uh, the production of electronic music uh, and, and beyond. Uh, and so it's going to be uh, a special kind of keynote is going to be an interview which I will have the honor to conduct uh, and uh, yeah, very much looking forward to welcoming all these keynote speakers at ADC this year. Um, aside from, from this, we have evening events. Aside of the main program, we have the Imogen Heap tonight and she will be joined by another artist uh, turned entrepreneur, Tim Exile, who's uh, launching a, an app on which he will perform tonight. So they will be here at 5.45 here to, to 6.15. Um, and after this, we have uh, a woman in audio event. That's uh, an event that's sponsored by uh, Native Instrument Raptor Marsh, Fox Wright and Marcus Sonos. And uh, it's to celebrate diversity and, and women uh, in audio. We uh, invite all the women to come and see Laura and Sophie. Uh, we have Laura here and Sophie somewhere, uh, to participate to this event. Uh, at 6.30, uh, well, all the men are invited to um, explore London. There's plenty of things to do. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an important subject. We, we do want to increase and, and make uh, every woman uh, feel welcome in, in this community. Um, so some more drawings uh, about uh, tomorrow's uh, event. We have, as per ADC tradition, we have lightning talks. Uh, lightning talk is two to five minutes talk about anything that you care about. So anyone is invited to, to participate. So first come, first serve uh, registration is going to be um, uh, emceed by Scott McDonald. Uh, and we've seen some performances in the past year. We've seen some uh, talks about how difficult it is to get a job in this industry. Uh, we've, yeah, uh, everything goes and it's a great time to unwind. It's not filmed. Everything that happens at the lightning talk stays at the lightning talks. Um, we also have a networking event, and this is a much smaller event, but many uh, of you are entrepreneurs or have their own company or as a one person uh, company, and we want to um, help you find partners. So we've created that event. It's going to be at the iconic Italian uh, Art Studios in King's Cross. Uh, this is a limited event. We have actually closed the pitches now, so uh, I'm going to review 
the one we received and, and invite a few more uh, companies to pitch. We have 10 companies that will pitch their products and veterans of the industry, investors uh, will also be there to, um, to participate in network. Um, if you have any questions on this, please come and, and, and talk to me. Um, and that's it. And that's my last drawing for my daughter. Maybe an idea for logo next year. Uh, and on that, I would like to invite uh, Julian Starr to give our first uh, keynote today.